Today we're going to go over the top three ways on how to put a cap on your fabrication project. Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over... Welcome back guys and thanks for chiming in. If you enjoy this fabrication tip, please hit that like button. So we're going to go over the three top ways how to put a cap on your fabrication project. To start off with, there's three primary reasons why you would want to cap your project. Number one is strength. When you cap something, if it's going to be in a high impact area, it is going to box that tube in, whether it's a round tube or a square tube. Number two is aesthetics. Maybe you have a corner joint where you're not able to do a miter cut and you have an open end and you want to finish that off and make an, it look nice and clean, or it's just an end tube and you want to cap it off and round it off Number three reason that you'd want to cap your tube off is longevity of your part. Capping your tube off is going to seal it from the elements, stop it from getting moisture and just crud in there and rotten it out from the inside. So let's get started with our three different ways. Number one is our outside cap. Now the most common mistake when making your top cap is going to be once you get it all cut out, you get it set on there, it's all nice and lined up, and you just go to run a bead over it. Executing it in that way is going to cause you a problem in two of the main reasons. One in the strength and one in the aesthetic. Once you get this all welded up, you're going to have these nice little beads sitting on the outside of your plate. The problem with this is most people are going to want to do some grinding and some finish work. And as soon as you grind that weld off, you've just taken away all the strength that you applied to begin with. So I'm going to give an example here of some impactor fatigue and after a few smacks with the hammer you can see a crack starting to occur on the edge there. Okay, now for the proper way to execute our top or outside cap. Bevel or chamfer all four sides at about a 45 degree angle leaving a slight landing at the top of the tube. Repeat the same process on your cap. Assemble both the cap and your tube with the bevels facing towards each other. This will create a nice valley for your weld to lay into, allowing you to surface grind without removing the weld in its entirety, but leaving you with a clean, strong, finished outside cap. The second way is an inside cap. So this guy is going to be super useful if maybe you have that corner joint here and you weren't able to do a miter cut and you want to put a cap in there but you don't want it sticking on the outside so you want it something that's flat so you get a nice clean finish so you're going to cut yourself an inside cap now this can be tricky because you got to put this guy in here and you got to try to hold it in there and you drop it while you're tacking it quick little trip trick you can do for that is take your TIG rod and tack your TIG rod to it or a piece of something whatever with whatever type of weld you might be using and then you can use this to hold that guy in place while you go and get a tack on it. Now the same mistake can be made with this in not chamfering or beveling the edge of both the plate and the inside of the tube. Granted, the inside of the tube is going to be much more difficult to do in this case because you can't necessarily get your flapper disc or your grinder in there. So it's going to be even more important to get that plate beveled out. want it to look something like that. Okay, now that we've got our top cap and our inside cap, we got our third and final way. I'm not exactly sure what to call this, but I'm going to call it our top fillet cap. Now this is my preferred way to cap things in most scenarios. How you're going to go about this is you're going to cut your cap so that it fits not inside and not to the outside, but on the top without falling in and then you get that fillet 
which you can see right there. And that fillet's going to follow all the way around. And there we are. And as you can see, this is with no cleanup. We just have a nice, clean, kind of rounded edge. I kind of prefer this. I like the, just the kind of raw look where you can see the weld sometimes. But you can also take and just round all these corners over real well. And these are going to round over faster too because you're halfway there. You got that nice rounded profile. These methods are not confined solely to square tubing. You can use the same principles on any sort of round tubing as well. So thanks for tuning in guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure that if you use your top cap or your inside cap method, you bevel your caps so you get a nice good penetration weld, especially if you're going to be grinding that weld off and finishing it. So subscribe so you don't miss next week's fabrication tip and tutorial and go build something guys.